Let me show you something. And that is the view from my caged balcony. Look at it. And look at the view. An abandoned, derelict, half torn down building. The glamour of traveling in the Russian provinces. <laughs> All right, let's begin today's video. Right then, guys, today we are going to Baku in Azerbaijan and we're going by train. For the first time, I don't actually know if I'm going to Asia or if Baku is in Europe. We'll find out. But let's get to the railway station. Benjamin, what is your name? What is your name? Abdullah. Abdullah, nice to meet you. Now then, before we go to the railway station to catch our train to Baku, we have to say goodbye to a, a mutual friend. I believe it's a friend of yours Michelle and a friend of mine. Hey, how you doing? Rest. Goodbye, Soviet sink. It was um, it was fun knowing you. Wow, check out this sign. This sign says, Stalin builds years. Stalin was here. No Stalin. In the year 1920, Stalin came to exactly this spot. I wonder if he ate in this cafe. I'm leaving on that midday train to Baku. Living on the midday train to Baku. Well, this is Baku Railway Station, and I'm very disappointed. It's the most modern railway station in Russia. Where are the mosaics, the barber shops, the Sovietness? This is called progress, apparently. And here are the places you can go to from here. You can go to St. Petersburg, Tumin, Rostov, Kiev. Well, there's an actually a Kiev to Makhachkala train. How awesome would that be? To Kharkov, another city in Ukraine. St. Petersburg. Wow, all these cool places you can travel to. Там есть кафе, да? Кафе. Let's go and check out the station cafe. Здравствуйте. Что у вас есть вкусно? Есть лахман или что-то типа? Это что такое? Лахман или что-то? Лахман это что такое? Нет, тут такое. Лахман не знаете, как же не знаете? А, ну там разные нации же бывают. А, понятно, суп или что-то я имею в виду? А, суп, у нас есть суп лапша есть. Спасибо. А вы понимаете арабский? Совсем нет. Один я, да, 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 да. Я думаю, может, с друзьями или с женой или с подружкой. Только я. А что это газета? Одинокий человек здесь Парень в России. Золотой человек. Вам не скучно по дороге есть? Нет, да? никогда. So what have I got here in this cafe? I've got myself a lovely bowl of chicken and noodle soup. Check it out. All that lovely chunks of chicken breast and some bread. And some beautiful decorations. The lady's laughing at me because I'm speaking to the camera. Some beautiful decorations. And all this, this delicious soup, for 50p. You can't bloody beat it. Travels in the provinces of Russia. Сделайте бабушка на мой счет. А? Я сама угощу. Да? да. Хорошо. Не переживайте. Хорошо. Спасибо вам большое. Очень До приятно. Здоровья. До свидания. These are my Baku passengers. This is what they look like. Бабушки and dudes. Здравствуйте. Тоже Баку. 
Yeah. Hopefully they're as friendly in Azerbaijan as they are here in Dagestan. That would be awesome. Here we go. Махачкала. Баку сегодня. А вы тоже Баку? Как там? Нормально? Полгода я там не был. Понял, понял, понял. Ага. Вы были здесь в Махачкале или где был? В России. А, да? А, работа? Да. Понятно. Сейчас вернулась, да? Все будет хорошо, я думаю. Очень приятно. It's not every day you take a train to Azerbaijan, but here it is. Whoa! How much did you buy? Here we go. Oui, what's he Ah, I'm on my own. Ah, well, I'm on my own for now, anyway. Hopefully, some people turn up. We can have a good old chat. We'll see. Well, that's the end of the Russian travels for 2019. The weather's getting cold here, but we've had a good time. We've seen the Mariel Republic, we've seen Chuvashia, we've heard languages in, um, in Mordovia. It's been a laugh. Chechnya. We've had some good times. But now it's getting chilly, as I say, so it's um, time to go south and cross the Caucasus Divide into Asia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, maybe a little bit Georgia. Thank you, Russia. It's been fun. There we go. What do you reckon? Duvet set, everything. Got a little charger here for my phone. Little bedside lamp to read my book. I think I'm going to be pretty comfortable on this train journey. I've got to fill in this um, this customs declaration form for Azerbaijan. Because obviously we're crossing a border into Azerbaijan. And it's all in Russian. And I'm not too sure what it says. There are questions here that I don't understand. Let's hope I don't screw it up and um, get deported or refuse entry. Viezd ili viezd. We've now pulled into a station called Manas. And over there on the old Russian sign saying Manas underneath it is written in Farsi in Persian. And that's because in the past this region was fought over between Persia and Russia before eventually um, in the 1700s Russia took control of the region and brought it into its sphere of influence. But you can still see bits of its Persian past here, hidden away. We're just following the shore of the Caspian Sea, going south down to Baku. Look, there's the Caspian Sea. Look how big it is. The biggest lake in the world. It's called a sea, but it's called a sea because it's just such a giant lake. On the other side of that sea is Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan. We're going down south. We believe yes, yeah. We start with Vladivostok, Khabaros. Yes, yeah, do you? Tokyo, Baku, Rostov. We were in Moscow, we were in Peter, we were in the Baltic, we were in the Asia. We were in the Asia? Yes, we were in the Asia. Yes, we were in the Asia. How can I find a job like this? Англичанин может тоже? Хорошо. The outskirts of the city of Derbent, Russia's older city, but um, looks a little bit run down. Look at that. Abandoned Soviet factories in the distance. 
Wowzers. We're here in Durban, the oldest city in Russia. It's about 2,000 years old and there's lots of um, police women getting on my train. Maybe I'll be lucky and have some Russian police women in my compartment. We'll see. Strange. Wonder what's going on. Maybe they've come to arrest me, I don't know. <laughs> Ah, now I understand why there's so many police. We're on the border between, um, well, this is the end of Russia, basically. Got you, dummy. I was thinking, why are all those coppers getting on the train? Just beyond, after Russian customs here, we're going to go through no man's land, and then we're going to enter into Azerbaijan, and Azerbaijan will have customs there. So um, I don't know how much of the process I'll be able to film. Maybe I can sneak my camera. Don't want to get arrested like I was at the Gulag recently. So we're here on the border in Derbent and I'm about to have customs come in, check the cabin, search and stamp me out of Russia. Two thirty in the morning here in Baku and I've got no hotel booked. <laughs> Jesus. Well, look at this place. It feels so modern and new. Look, brand new station. Electric signboards. Shiny bright lights and a strange language that I can't read. Baki Demi Royal Vagazli. Wow, I've definitely left Russia behind. Where are the homeless people? Where are the alcoholics who hang out here at night? This is unlike any railway station I've been to in the former Soviet Union. Well, this is Baku. <laughs> wow, am I allowed to cross? What the hell's happening here? There's no bloody light telling me. Oh man. Wow, first time in a new country, everything's new, not very familiar. Crikey, what the hell am I doing? I miss Dagestan already. Oh, it says here, free Wi-Fi. Street Wi-Fi, Baku loves you. Let's see if Baku's Wi-Fi works. Let's test it in a situation of life or death. Sign in. Welcome to public Wi-Fi. Okay, good start. Ah. It only accepts a number. It only accepts a number from a bloody mobile SIM card here in Azerbaijan. I've got a British SIM card. Look what I've just found. Deluxe City Hotel. Hopefully not too deluxe. And hopefully they've got a room. Let's have a look. Ooh. Well, that was quite the adventure, wasn't it? But we've made it to Baku. And here's my room. Ta da this is what $30 gets you in Baku, not bad. Nice bathroom, party shower, a nice fridge with some goodies, Wi-Fi that works, I've just checked it, a TV, a comfy bed. Oh. All right, time to um, get under that blanket and um, sleep for a few hours. Until next time, guys, cheerio from Baku.